greeting of the day dear students uh, welcome to the third session of cost accounting today i will be discussing uh, about the rol reorder level and ed channels and just in time so in the last session we discussed about economic order quantity right so this is what we have learned in the last session about uh, economic order quantity right we have solved one question in this portion that what is the uh, material control or uh, how we can control that and what are the methods and the techniques that we are using for the material control so we discuss here in today's session we'll discuss about rol edc analysis and just in time so uh, in the last session uh, we got how to uh, get that number of days how to calculate uh, economic order quantity and how to call uh, calculate total cost and as well as uh, time gap between the order we have discussed here in this uh, rol we'll discuss about the setting up various level uh, stock level so what is the setting up various stock level in this methods we will get to know that what is the reorder level that how we should order each and every time what is that formula and how we can get that minimum level of that uh, order that if we are going to concern about the organizations that how much at least i need to keep that stock for the selling purpose and then what is the maximum level that i want to keep it the stock for that company and then we'll need to find out average stock level that is how uh, the medium point the average point that we are keeping the stock for the company so reorder level that is the uh, level between minimum level or maximum level that normally uh, to keep in the store for the uh, sufficient of an entry for the covering of uh, normal and abnormal situations that when order is placed and we need to prepare it for that for we have formula so reorder level is equal to maximum level maximum usage divided by multiply by maximum delivery period so maximum usage multiply by maximum delivery period so this is the formula we have so if this is example giving that two components a and b two stocks are needed one is a called second one is called b so if the normal is 50 and maximum is 150 and you know 50 unit is the uh, minimum usage reorder quoted for a is 600 for the b is 1000 and the reorder period is 4 by for the B is six week and for, for uh, four to six week for A and for B is two to four weeks. So you need to calculate ROL. So as if you see in formula, we said maximum usage by maximum delivery period of each product, both A and B. So maximum usage, so this is maximum, how much? 150, right? So maximum usage 150. 150 multiplied by maximum delivery for A is 150 multiplied by six because the highest time for A product is six right and for b is four right so b product which we have two to four weeks so maximum is a four so six multiplied by 150 become how much 900 four multiplied by 150 become 600 so this is what the rol so reorder level for a is how much 900 units and for b is 600 units so maximum if i say that maximum is 150 maximum delivery period for b is Four. This is how you will get the maximum reorder level which we have under the formula, right? So this is what we will get. Next one is which we have minimum level that how to calculate minimum level. For minimum level we can have reorder level minus normal usage multiplied by average period, right? So this is what average period which we have. So ROL for the A is how much? We calculated 900 for B is 600. So 900 minus normal usage. So what is my normal usage here? 50. 900 minus 50 multiply by average period, right? In formula, average period is given. So average period, how do we will get? 4 plus 6 is 10 divided by 2. So you will get average. So it will become 5. 5 multiplied by 50, 250. So 900 minus 250, 750. For the A, it will is 9 minus 250 is 650 so for the a product we have the minimum level usage 650 because 900 is rol which we calculated here right so it is there 
and then uh, normal is h which we have in the formula 50 so it will be got from here right this is 50 units and then this is 50 average period so average period so you need to take highest time and lowest time so for a is 4 uh, lowest and highest is 6 4 plus 6 10 divided by 2 5 so this multiply by this to 50 to 50 minus 6 50 and so for a we need it for b so what is our ROL so ROL here it is around uh, if I can say uh, let me clear this So ROL for the A, B is 600, so will 600 will get, right, so this is ROL, minus normal usage, so normal usage is 50 for both of the product, multiply by average period, so average period, so 2 plus 4, 6, 2 plus 4, 6, 6 divided by 2, 3, because we have two numbers, right, the highest and lowest, so 3, 3 multiply by 50, 150, 150 minus 6, 450, so my now minimum level of usage, so I, I have to keep the 450 units at minimum level for each and every organization so that is what we have and the next one we need to find out maximum level that at highest that how I should keep the maximum level of the stock for the organization so for this we have reorder level it is the same which we are getting so reorder level plus reorder quantity minus minimum consumption divided by minimum order reorder period so if I will see in the formula ROL we got it here right 900 and 600 reorder quantity for A is 600 for B is 1000 what we have and normal uh, which we, s we have minimum consumption so minimum consumption is how much minimum usage of consumption is 50 units again right which we have and then our minimum period reorder period so minimum reorder period for A is 4 for B is 2 so this is what we have right so for A is 2 for B is 8. So if I want to apply this into formula, so ROL equal to ROQ, ROL. So what is my ROL for A? 900. So it is 900, right? Plus ROQ, reorder quantity. So reorder quantity for A is 600. So 600. So this is 600, right? So which I have. And this is 900 ROQL, which I got there. And then we have minimum consumption so minimum consumption here is how much 50 units so 50 right so 50 is this one multiply by minimum usage period of a so we are using making a product so minimum usage is 4 and maximum 6 so 4 multiply by 4 right so this is what we have so if you will get this 50 by 4 400 200 200 minus 600 uh, it will be equal to around uh, 900 plus 600 it becomes 1500 minus 200 1300 so for the A product so minimum level is 650 units which we need to keep in our organization but maximum level is 1300 units for the B we have ROL of B 600 units so it is 600 units reorder level reorder quantity which is there in the formula so reorder quantity for b which is there b so at least 1000 so we are getting 1000 minus normal usage for the same for both of them 50 units multiply by normal period usage period so reorder period is normal is 2 less minimum and maximum is 4 so minimum is 2 so 2 multiplied by 500 2 multiplied by 50 100 so 600 plus 1600 minus 100 so 1500 is my uh, maximum level so for the B product I need to keep 450 units minimum and 1500 at maximum so we are not need to keep more than that stock for our company or organization if we want to find out the average stock so we have formula 1 by 2 multiplied by minimum plus maximum stock level so now I'm clearing this portion so in the formula we have that for the average level minimum level for A and B for A is how much minimum level for A is 650 and for B is 450 so it is 650 for 450 
and plus maximum level for a maximum level 1300 units which is there and for b it is 1500 units which is there divided by 2 1 by 2 right so divided by 2 say 50 plus 1300 it become 950 if you multiply by uh, 2 975 450 plus 500 it become 1950 divided by 2 it has become 975 so the average level of keeping stock in our organization in our company is 975 you know that's how to calculate ROL reorder level and minimum level and maximum level for each and every organization which we have that is the setting up of very stock level for our company the next one we have uh, ABC analysis. What is ABC analysis? So this is other examples you can do it by yourself in the home, which is solved in the slide. ABC analysis uh, it stands for always better control. Always better control means that we need to keep the categories of each and every products into three subcategories. A are those categories which is cost very high, and we are concerned more about that. Uh, so for that purpose, we need to keep the organizational cost uh, low so if we are keeping these cost of that company so then the cost of that material is very high right so the if the cost is high so if any loss is happening that is a, a huge losses for the company so in that case we cannot pay any amount so that is what category of a which we can say and category b which we have that is those categories which are met so that is having not huge price not huge cost but as well as we are not keeping more value for that company. So B categories are normally used for the middle level, which is keeping the average stock of that and having less cost. And C categories are those category which is cost low as compared to others, but the overall uh, volume of keeping material is large. So this is what we are categorizing into three categories. Uh, a, B, and C, and uh, uh, based on the volume and value. Suppose a store have four thousand item consumption, which is monthly consumption of two uh, twenty lakh, and three hundred twenty uh, thousand uh, three hundred twenty items, which is consumption is fifteen lakh, right? And five hundred item, which consumption is four lakh, and it become the total two thousand six hundred uh, eighty and. Uh, consume material is one lakh only such we can categorize this product so 320 is the first category right so we are keeping that cost is uh, 1500 lakh which is there and 400 get the 4000 categories which is cost is 20 lakh and uh, again fi 500 item which is cost 4 lakh so we are keeping now if we analyze into three categories so the first item is 320 item which is less but cost is huge 15 lakh so 320 value is 15 lakh right the next item is uh, which we have uh, 500 and then uh, 1000 item right so we have 1000 item here so in the 1000 item this is not 4000 sorry this is 1000 cost is 2 lakh so we have uh, 4 lakh right so which we have here and the next item is we have category C 2680 items which is cost one lakh so if you want to compare these three categories so what is the percentage of that item so 320 plus 1000 plus 2680 2, become 4000 so my total unit of product which i have 4000 so i am considering 100 percent total cost which i have here is 20 lakh so i am concerning this also as a hundred percent right which i have now to calculate the percentage of this 320 multiply by uh, divi divided by 4000 item right so I, I will do it here 320 multiply by 4000 and then multiply by 100 so you will get how much 8% the amount the quantity which you are keeping the next one is 1000 right divided by 4000 
multiply by 100 so it will be equal to how much 25 percent the next one is 2680 multiply by 4000 multiply by 100 it will become 67 percent right so i'm keeping that item so this is how we will get the item for these different things the percentage so the same sense if you want to calculate the percentage of value of money that you so 15 lakh all right I will do the first one, the rest you will do. Divided by 20 lakh, multiply by 100, this will be equal to 75%, right? So this is 75%. So see the cost. For the sixth one, again, the you will do 40, 4 lakh, divided by 20 lakh, multiply by 100, 20%. Then the last one, 1 lakh divided by 20 lakh multiplied by 100, you will get 5%. So if you see this percentage, so this is the amount of money that we are using. 75% of my money is used for the 320 item, but 20% of my money is for 1000 item, 5% of my money is for 2680 item. So this is what we are categorizing into A, B, C. Uh, those for that which is, I, the cost is huge, so we'll keep less amount of that. Those for which is cost is average, so we'll keep average level of that value. And those for which is cost uh, low, we'll keep low or high level of their volume of their product. And the last one, that is what we have just in time system, JIT, which is last method of uh, this uh, material techniques and control, JIT system. JIT system is normally used for just in time, that when we are uh, receiving order, when we are uh some customers are placing an order we are making uh, materials on the spot and we are delivering suppose we have pizza hub and then other companies which are providing fast food they have made their system in such a way that if they are keeping low m inventory and they will provide a pizza within uh, 30 minutes if you, you will not get so that is free of cost for you so this is how the marketing strategy that is a competitive strategy for the organizations that is used for these different companies these different organizations so this is how we need to material and that is the GIT system which is normally used for the online companies for the service companies are normally so this is uh, uh, which we have thank you so much uh, from your attention from watching this video if you have any questions queries so you can uh, ask me through youtube channel or whatsapp number thank you so much